laws of nature are not easily broken. All right, guys. So here I am um, at the Lake Ridden booth with uh, Johan, the creative director here at Midnight uh, Hub. And we've been playing the game. I've actually played the public demo as well as the press demo, which divulged a little bit more about the story of the game and things like that. Um, and it's, I've got to say, it's the highlight of my time here so far, and I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, I noticed that a lot of similarities are being made by people walking past, and it's even done here. Firewatch seems to be a big influence or something people notice a lot. Um, what, what else would you say would be a big influence of, of the game? Stuff like Vanishing of Ethan Carter, maybe? or uh, Yeah. Yeah, vanishing with a card certainly and, and also amnesia believe it or not yeah. like if you take away all of the horror parts of amnesia it's, it's really a great puzzle game as well yeah um, and there's a lot of atmosphere right yeah precisely um with like opposed to um ethan carter and, and firewatch you are like generally walking simulators we're more of a, like an adventure game that's been slowed down a little bit. It's definitely going to be exploration as well. We are going to have some uh, some characters that you're going to meet in the game um, that you're going to have to like create a relationship with. Uh, and it's a lot of just moving around and fetching things and just walking around this uh, this place and trying to figure out what happens. Some mystery games they don't really let the players try to solve the mystery it's more that you just enjoying the, the thing but um, it's this is interactive media we're able to actually let players explore different avenues of clues and for try for themselves to figure out the end before they actually read it I've played a little bit of the story and there is already a supernatural vibe I don't want to dis uh, spoil too much of that and um, but with regards to uh, release dates and things like that and uh, systems it looks like it's coming to PC next year any idea on the sort of which sort of season we're looking at uh, where we're aiming for spring um, I personally think it's gonna be April <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, it's easier to say now than uh, than in with any March maybe. It's definitely going to come out for PC. We're trying to release it on console as well. In regards to pricing we're thinking around 15 pounds, 20 dollars, 20 euros. We're gonna see where we where we end up when we get a little bit close to it. But it's gonna be somewhere around there. For gameplay time we're aiming for between three and six hours. Okay. So it's it's this nice game that you can finish in an evening but hopefully take with you and like it's it's like good movie in that sense that it's the experience continues afterwards as well yeah that seems to be quite a standard practice at the moment with games like that very narrative heavy even though they're, they're shorter it tends to be that you remember it forever so how would you describe the game in your own words so story wise it's a mystery that you have to solve and you have to like be able to save your sister and meet all of these different characters um, and gameplay wise it's and a slow adventure game with a lot of puzzles into mixed into it um, a lot of clues and items that you need to find and use um, and just explore the world so far and this like I say the highlight of my uh, EGX and it's a great and immersive game I mean we don't have really much have time to go into the the atmosphere with regards to sound and graphics but there's a lot to talk about and there'll be more on that later on in the week all right Johan thank you very much I really appreciate your time the loss of nature.